unfortunately, when you govern, you actually have to be more mature and actually run something, and that's what we're going to do. But I think one of the lessons that was learned over the last year and a half is you, in order to push through change, don't forget about the people who sent you there. Don't forget about the people who want to change. Change is the important thing. When you get to Washington, it's important not to play by the Washington people's rules because nobody else in the whole country plays by Washington rules. And that's what we've got to make sure that we can rekindle as this election cycle comes up. The interesting thing, I want to tell you about Scott Brown's race in Massachusetts because it's really interesting. And it's not so good for the Democratic Party right now, but for different reasons than most people think. 18% of the people who, vote, who voted for Scott Brown were Obama supporters. Of those people, 57% thought there ought to be a public option in the health care bill, and 80% thought that the bill didn't go far enough. We polled Obama supporters who stayed home and didn't vote in that Senate race. 86% of the people thought there ought to be a public option, and by 6 to 1, they thought the health care bill didn't go far enough. This is not where you need to move towards the center. The problem here is there is a populist anger at what's going on in Washington, and the right side of the political equation is energized and goes out and votes. And the left side of the political, the political equation is demoralized and they stay home. Yeah. Or they even go so far in some cases to vote for somebody they don't agree with in order to send a message to Washington. That is what this is about. Now let me talk to you for a second about our responsibility in this. When you get disappointed and when things don't go the way you wanted them, that is not the time to stay home. And it's not the time to drop out of politics. I talk a lot about the difference in generations in, in politics. And, you know, I, I'm proud of the things my generation did. And I just named some of them. And it was really an extraordinary. The country is a lot different, I think a lot better off because of the things that our generation fought for. But one thing we did that was a huge mistake was take some time off. After we got done with all the stuff that and some excesses, I might add, and some people in my generation in the 60s and the 70s, we focused on our families and we focused on our jobs and we decided we'd get out of politics. And we had you know, Nixon and Ford and Reagan and people, and we just got sort of dropped out of politics. Big mistake. I'm not too sure George Bush and Dick Cheney ever would have been president and vice president of the United States of America if our generation hadn't dropped out of politics. And that's what energizes us to get back in. This is a great country, but it was being hijacked by people on the far right who didn't respect the Constitution. That's right. And we can do better than that, and that's we are going to do better than that. Right. But the way to do better than that is not to get out of politics when things don't go your way, is to continue to make changes. Right. 